Don't you agree? That there exists certain special chosen people endowed with the power of desiring a thing, craving a thing, willing a thing so persistently, so inexorably, that at last it has to happen. Don't you believe that? If it is like that, we shall see one day whether I am one of those people. It's not of oneself one can do it. They're the helpers, the servers, they must play their part. They never come of their own accord. You have to call upon them. Very persistently, very, very inwardly. Do you understand? Don't you think the fire would have happened all the same, even if you hadn't wished for it? If that house had belonged to old Borovic, it would never have burned down so conveniently for him. But he doesn't know how to call for the helpers, for the servants. So you see, Hilda, it's all my fault. It's the lives of our little boys were sacrificed. And don't you think it's my fault, too? That Aline has never been the woman that she should have been, or to have been. And most long be. But if it is the work of all these helpers and servants. Who called for the helpers and the servers? It's I. I called and they obeyed my will. That's what it means. When people say you have the luck on your side, well, I'll tell you what this luck feels like. It feels like a great raw place on the breast, and the helpers and servers, they keep tearing pieces of flesh from other people. They feel the sore. Still, it's not. <laughs> no. Oh, God, if you knew how it could gnaw and burn. I believe you are ill, Mr. Son. Very ill. Say mad, for that's what you mean. No, I wouldn't say there's much wrong with your intellect. But I wonder if you had went sent into the world with a sickly conscience. Sickly conscience? What devil's work is that? Well, I'm that's unable to bear the strain of anything. What sort of a conscience do you think I ought to have? I'd like you to have a robust conscience. Robust? Eh? Is your own conscience robust? Yes, I think so. I never noticed that it wasn't. It hasn't been put to the test very severely. It wasn't all that leave easy to leave father, you know. <laughs> I'm very fond of him. Tell me for a month or two. I don't think I shall ever go home again. Never? Why did you leave him? The ten years are up. Surely you hadn't forgotten again. Nonsense. What was wrong at home? I don't know. There was something inside me which kept driving me to come here. Yet something which was luring me on, too. There we have it, Hilda. There's the demon in you. calls on these powers, and then you've got to obey them, whether you want to or not. I almost believe you are right. Oh, if one had a really sound and sturdy conscience, and could do as one liked. In the sagas you read about the Vikings who sailed away to foreign lands and plundered and burned. Yes, and carried off the women. Took them home in their ships. Oh, it must have been so thrilling. To carry off women, eh? No, to be carried off. Could you live with your own free will with a ruffian like that? Yes, if I'd fallen in love with him. Could you fall in love with such a man? I can't choose whom one's going to fall in love with. And I hope with all my heart, Hilda, the devil is going to choose my for you. For me, they have chosen. Once and for all. Hilda, you're like a wild bird of the woods. No, I don't think so. I don't hide myself away in the branches. Uh, there's something of the bird of prey about you. Yes, perhaps. Then why shouldn't I seize what I can? As long as I can get my claws into it and carry it off. Hilda, do you know what you're like? You're like a dawning day. When I look at you, I seem to be looking towards the sunrise. 